In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add text to our clips in CapCut. Now, if you hide up over here, we have the text menu over here. So you just click on it and then you'll see all these um, different options that we have. So the first one, add text, we have default text. We have AI generated effects and under effects, you'll find lots and lots of templates. So if you just click on this drop down arrow, you can see all these different options. Same goes with this, so it has loads and loads of options. If I click on the drop down arrow, you can see the number of options that you have over here. So let's just start with a uh, text and then the default text. Now, if I click on it, you can see how it will appear. So that's just, that's just a preview. What I'll do is I'll click on this plus sign to add it to my timeline. So there we go, and as you can see, it's been added as a new layer on top of our clip. Now, if we head over here, you can see it comes with one, uh, its own option panel. And then from here, I can be able to change um, the text. So over here, I can change the wording. So let's type in recipe. So you can make that change from over here. Then from here, you can change the font. You just click and select a font that works for you. So, so this is just for um, we're just going through the options we have. So I'm not saying that this is the perfect um, font to use here. You can change the font size. You can choose to make it bold, uh, underline it, or italicize it. You have those options. You can change the case. So currently it's in the uppercase. You can have it in small, lower case, or in title case. You can change the color from over here. So you can choose from these presets, uh, presets that we have over here, or you can come directly and choose it from over here and you can see it will automatically change. So any will do. You can um, increase the size of the spaces in between by clicking on this drop down arrow. So if I go down, you'll see the, rest, uh, the spaces will decrease. But if I click the other arrow you can see the spaces are increasing so I'll just take that back down to zero again you can come over here and increase size in line you can change the alignment depending on the number of words you have but i don't think it will affect with just one then over here we have a um, preset style so you can choose a preset style for your caption or for your text then we have this transform tab over here. So just click this. So these are all the options that you're provided with. And then down here we have transform. Now under transform, there are a number of things you can do. So let's just, you can change the scale so you can scale it down or scale it up. You can change the positioning of this. So if you want to move it to one side, you can do that. Now if you see, it's slightly moving to the right. So let's just try and type in 200. You can see move is shifted to the right. If you type in zero, enter, it will shift back to the original place. So you can mess around with that. And then we have the blend options over here. So the first one is op opacity actually, so you can Decrease the opacity or play around with it depending on the needs of your um, videos or different videos on different captions with different needs. So it's all up to you on what you'll do with that. Then we have stroke here. So if you want to add a stroke, you'll just click on this button so you can see it was turned off. You can just click on that and then it will be turned on. Now we currently have a black stroke. You can come over here. Again, you can choose from the presets that we have. Like so. And then you can determine the, uh, the thickness of a stroke from over here. So you can increase it. You can take it to the extreme if you want to. Again, it depends on the needs of your um, caption or your video creating. Then down here, you can add background. So we have these two over here. 
now good thing with this is that you can change the background again you can choose a white background i can come over here and make a selection of my own and if i feel like i don't really need the background i can just turn it off but with the background there are a lot of um added options so one is the opacity so i can take down the opacity like that if i want a rounded rectangle just have to do that and you can see at the end at the edges we'll end up with a rounded uh, rectangle you can see over here so let's just click this to go back to this you can change the height the width the y offset and the x offset there we go and then over here we have a glow so if you want to add a glow again you can turn that on we have a shadow you still have the same same um, options and curve so all these are all around uh, are available there for you to use depending on your needs. So just remove the shadow, I remove the glow and the background. I just want it to remain as simple as that. Now if you head over to bubble, you'll see some cool effects that you can add to your um to your caption. So if I select one, it will add this and it will look like kind of an animation caption. You can just go through them and select the one that you want to use so there are tons and tons of options here for you depending on the needs of your of your video now for me i'll just choose none and leave it as it was now let's head over to effects again we have loads and loads of effects to choose from so you can choose some of these presets over here and see how that will work out for you 